Hello everyone. Um, this is the first video that I've done uh, on this new year, uh, 2016. I think it's going to be amazing. Last year was a, a transition year, I think, for a lot of us. Um, I think we went through hardships. I think we went through some amazing, wonderful times. Um, I know personally I travelled quite a lot to different healing sessions, different women's circles. Um, I got really interested in meditation more, um, yoga, crystal healing, um, moon cycles. That was a, a big thing this year for me. Um, and it was just wonderful to connect with other women that uh, are powerful and just beautiful souls inside and out and full of love and light and joy and supportive so wonderfully supportive and i feel honored and blessed that i can um mix with these kinds of women it's just amazing i met some wonderful men too it's not just women that are wonderful light workers there's some lovely men too um but i felt this year i really resonated with the ladies and um i was in my friend's yurt and uh we all sat around and i, I just closed my eyes and i thought oh my god it's finally happening i'm finally in a women's circle and it made me really happy so going forward to 2016, I just think this is the year for everybody to shine. It really is going to be the year where we all zoom forward in everything that we want to do. I know that um, we move house at the end of the uh, month. So, and we've lived in this house for 14 years, so it's a, a big change. But I think it's going to be wonderful because I can finally have my own workroom um, and be able to create more wonderful things and not have to keep tidying away and for tea and all this kind of thing. So that's exciting but more exciting is that my art that I've been doing um, is just selling and that's like it's massive for me because I have sold pieces in the past um, bits of this and bits of that and I've tried my hand at all sorts of things um, I've run fairs, I've had shops, I've done vintage things, I've uh, all sorts of things but I've never really completely believed in something and I've never taken it back to what, it, what I should be doing and, and that's I thought about what did I want to do when I was a child I just want to be a clown in the circus mm, that's not going to happen so uh, my next thing that I wanted to do I wanted to be a fashion designer um, and uh, I really enjoyed art and I went to college to do um, my college course and then I wanted to go to London and to London College of Fashion but life happened and I ended up being um, blessed with a baby instead and I was so poorly that I had to leave art college so uh, those dreams kind of got put on hold they never went away um, and I do make clothes and I, and I sell clothes occasionally but my thing is drawing no matter what I'm doing no matter where I am um, even if I'm having a lovely time in my head I just want to be at home drawing so I thought right I'm 40 this year in May um, what are you playing at? you tell everybody else that do what makes you happy do what makes your heart sing and I thought yeah I'm going to do this I'm actually going to do it so I enrolled on um, Leonie Dawson's course um, she has a wonderful academy of supportive women and um, you get to do all these workbooks and there's videos and, and it's just amazing and it kicks your ass really to actually do stuff because I'm creative and I love doing all that kind of thing but business wise I'm just a bit mm, I don't know not not I'm going to change my story I am a wonderful businesswoman now um, but really I do need help with that side of things so being in the academy is wonderful for that and you, you set your intentions you set your goals just like you do in life but you feel like you've got 
kind of like a virtual boss, but she's a really nice boss. That's not really a boss, she's your friend. So um, I think that's what's really pushed me forward massively to to just do what I want to do. So uh, I've been muffling on for quite a bit. But my thing f for this year is I just want you to know that no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing right now, there is something that you can do to make your heart sing. That one thing that you've always wanted to do, that one thing that you love doing, um, I know you might not want to just go, well, I'm going to give up my job and do this wholeheartedly because I've got bills to pay or a mortgage or whatever else. That's fine. You can just do little things. So um, I'm an all or nothing girl and I did quit my job and I've just gone into it fully because I just know that the universe is going to support me and I know that the universe has had my back for all these years but even when I didn't know what the universe was about even when um, I just was l living life automatically um, so that's what I want you to know I want you to know that you can do this you've got it inside you you've got that power inside you you can do it you're unique you're amazing just take one tiny step one tiny step every day that's all that's all you have to do and then eventually you'll look back and you'll be like, oh my god, look where I am now. Um, if you didn't know, this is the kind of thing that I do. And um, I also do like really lovely chakra paintings. Um, and I put quotes and things on them as well. And I think because I fill them with so much love and... I, when I do them I just oh, I'm so happy so happy in my element doing them I think it shows and when I um, share them with other people like them too so thank you for listening if you stuck with me for all this time um, love you loads and hopefully we'll speak soon goodbye <laughs>